So this weekend has been filled with a lot of drama, specifically in politics. Uh, obviously, you know, everybody's been on, been going through it on the news, been watching it, that somebody tried to assassinate the former president. You know, technically I call him the orange overlord all the time, or the orange Jesus, because, and a lot of people do, actually, because that is how the Republicans treat him. A lot of them, specifically the fans, you know, and I call them fans because MAGA's, in my opinion, and it's just an opinion, it's not racist or bigotry, it's literally, I feel, not everyone else is going to feel that way, there's my disclaimer, I feel that a lot of Trump Ma uh, MAGA fans are basically fans, that's what they are, um, and I don't know if a lot of them realize that the president is supposed to work for the people, it's not the other way around. Uh, but again, I say that. It doesn't mean that other people are going to think that way. Okay? And that I can accept. You know, people think differently. But it's not, we're not talking about people's right to survive or live or exist. We're talking about the fact that there are a lot of people out there who treat this person like they're Jesus. And it's just weird and <laughs> cultish. And they're going to not change. They're just not going to change. Uh, maybe some have. But I think most of what the media shows us, though, are those people, which in a way is not entirely fair because I'm sure there are Republicans out there who are not like those people, who are probably having second thoughts, you know, all of that. But the point of this video is to say that I've noticed since this happened, uh, now we have people blaming the Democrats when it was a registered... Republican white 20 year old man who was trying to kill Trump. Um, but the truth of the matter is, we don't know what is happening, what this kid was going through. Because 20 years old, you're still not totally, your brain is not fully developed. But um, I think anyone, anyone who is planning to kill someone to the point where they are they even found bombs in his car apparently um they're not stable and that goes for anybody i don't care what political party you're in for you know i don't care what you're gonna vote for who you're gonna vote for that's anybody because look i don't like the orange overlord as much as the next guy okay but i'm not gonna wish him dead because quite frankly he is a life on this world he's a life in this planet he's not a clump of cells he's literally a life he's walking around doing stuff you know why would I wish that person dead? Um, what I do wish is that the people who follow him would actually read the Heritage Foundation's Project 2025 mandate. Uh, it's Everything is on there. Uh, I've downloaded it before people actually started reading it all that much because I wanted to make sure that they weren't going to change it because now that they know people are educating themselves, I've noticed they've kind of taken a few steps back because they realize, oh shit, we didn't expect these people to read this. And I seriously believe they did not expect anyone to read that shit. Um, I just wish they'd read Project 2025 because I don't think they know what they're voting for. And a lot of people are saying, well, none of those laws are going to come true. I'm like, eh, the Hermitage Foundation uh, is run by a bunch of rich-ass white people. Okay. Um, I mean, two white women are running the uh, uh, Blacks for Trump. I mean, that explains a lot. Uh, <laughs> but the reality is that people are going to vote who they people are going to vote for who they're going to vote for. They're going to blame who they're going to blame. And that's really not going to change because the media shows us this. And people who are riled up, especially this election year, every election year we get riled up. I'm filled with anxiety to the brim. I have been anxious every day. You can ask my friends. They're like, we are concerned. You're anxious every day. And uh, the truth is, it's because... Election years are not easy. Um, I was just as bad in 2020, uh, but this is worse now. The good thing is I'm no longer on, on the other platform. I'm no longer on TikTok. And the reason I'm not is because it is quite toxic. Now, Instagram is getting toxic, but I filled my feed with so many things about cats and capybaras that I don't really get to see all that anymore. Um, but I do uh, read up on what is going on in this country by actually looking looking for things that I need to read that are not embellished 
or you know what I mean? Because the media, especially American media, I'm going to be honest, you guys suck. Uh, you guys have made it like a TV show. I got to look for foreign shit. I got to look for the BBC. And even they have changed because they used to just report shit. Now it's, it's weird. Now it's about ratings. Um, so... And I know I'm going all over the place, and it's because I just took my ADHD medication. It hasn't quite set in yet. But um, the truth of the matter is, people are going to believe what they believe. Okay? And people are going to do what they're going to do. And I can't force anyone. I mean, we can't. We, we cannot force people to believe what we believe and vice versa. So the only thing we can do is vote. That's it. Um, and educate. That's what I'm doing. I'm educating others. Yeah, my, my comments on a lot of these videos come off as extremely seething. It's because that's me seething. You know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but educating people on Project 2025 is extremely important. Um, and I just urge everybody, including conservatives, including Magus, to read it. Just please indulge. Read it. See how you feel about it. Give yourselves the opportunity to learn, you know? Give yourselves the opportunity to look at facts. Give yourselves the opportunity to really ask critical thinking questions. Because MAGA's, even though I keep saying, I can say they're stupid on my troll account, I'll be honest and say that I know these people can read, okay? I think it's just hard to want to see that because I think a lot of MAGA's truly believe that this, that Trump, this orange overlord of theirs, as I call them, will save them. But the reality is, they need to save themselves. A president is not going to save us. We need to save ourselves. That's the truth. Because whether we like it or not, on both sides, Dem and we have a you know two party system which sucks. You know, Dems and Republicans. If you look at them, they're kind of one in the same with a lot of things. But one isn't doing what the other is doing regarding uh, social justice. Um, at the same time, there are a lot of other issues going on with the Blue Party, if you will. And a lot of people will not vote for the Blue Party because of that. And there is nothing I can do to change that. You know, I, I, would, I, I would say people just want to see America burn, but the reality is America's already burning and has been burning for a long time um, because of a lot of things. And I believe start really came out in 2016. You know, things just, it, it's like America, it has been in an, in an emotionally and physically abusive relationship for so long, and it keeps getting re-traumatized. So, I'm going to ask conservatives, especially the MAGAs, please, educate yourselves. Read Project 2025. Stop blaming the Democrats for trying to kill your orange overlord because you have no proof. Okay, let's be honest here. You don't. You don't have proof. We don't have proof. All we know is that it was a registered Republican who signed up, I guess, must have donated 15 bucks to the DNC four years ago and was not stable because if they're thinking of doing this, they're not okay. It doesn't excuse the behavior. Okay? And um, it doesn't matter if it was a Democrat or a Republican. At this point, it was a person who was really sick. The reality is, yes. We need to really think that through because right now, people are, and conspiracy theorists especially are going ape shit with this and making the rest of us look like idiots. Stop that. Look at facts. Facts are really important right now. Okay? And um, that's all I got to say about that. Try to have a good Monday, guys.